Use your arrows to browse Montreal, QC, May 5th, Montreal Impact midfielder Ignacio Piatti, 10, gains control of the ball during the New England Revolution versus the Montreal Impact game on May 5th, 2018, at Stade Saputo in Montreal, QC, photo by David Kirouac, Icon Sports Wire via Getty Images, it was a goal-filled afternoon once more at Saputo Stadium, and this time the Montreal Impact were on the winning end of things. The home side went up 4-0 in the second half and held on to take all three points for the first time in five weeks. Anthony Jackson Hamill led the way in goal scoring for Montreal with a brace. His first goal came in first half stoppage time when his breakaway shot trickled over the goal line to make it 1-0 at halftime. In the 52nd minute, Jackson Hamill made it 2-0 when Ignacio Piatti fed a perfect pass to the striker who finished from close range. Piatti set up Raheem Edwards for the impact's third goal as Edwards dispatched a powerful shot past Matt Turner. On his 100th appearance for the impact, Piatti then finished off his impressive performance by making it 4-0 in the 68th minute. The Revolution added two late goals to end the clean sheet bid for Evan Bush, both of which were scored by Wilfred Zahibo, but Montreal were comfortable for the victory in the end. Here are three things we learned from the match. Point three. Jackson Hamill the answer up top. The impact's forwards have not been able to give their club the goal support they need thus far as the majority of the goals have come from the midfield. Anthony Jackson Hamill changed that on Saturday with his brace. Earlier in the week, Impact manager Remy Gard was critical of Jackson Hamill and Dominic Adiro as the two have not impressed him during Mateo Mancosu's absence due to injury. His manager's words had to ignite the extra motivation needed to impress when he was given the start. Jackson Hamill may be the answer to the Impact's goal scoring needs up top if he can replicate his performance in the coming weeks. Use your arrows to browse.